there YouTube. So in this video, we're gonna be uh, changing the battery on this Pontiac Vibe. But first, let me show you what's going on and then I'll also uh, give you a voltage meter test and you can see what I'm talking about, uh, why it's uh, not got a good charge and uh, then we'll replace it. So let's go ahead and uh, get started here. First, off the hood with this uh, pull handle right here on the bottom of the uh, key panel. You can decide underneath this hood right here, and you're going to have a lever right here. You just want to lift up and push up. Uh, most of these vibes actually have a pretty uh, bad time with these hood lifts, so if yours is missing, you might have to prop it up. But uh, that's where your hood lift is, or your hood stand is. And uh, we'll get a little closer and take a look at that battery. So now coming into the car, we have the battery, which is right there. It's held down by a battery strap, and it has two battery connectors. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how this starts with this poor battery. As you can see, the engine had a hard time starting. The starter cranked over very slowly and then finally uh, hit. So let's go ahead and take a look at that uh, voltage on that battery now. So now we're in the engine bay, and we went ahead and removed the little red cap from the battery. We have our voltage tester out here. So we want to set it to 12 volts, and by pushing these two together here, should equal down to zero volts, uh, or very close to it. So what we'll go ahead and do is we're going to put the red one on the positive and the black one on the negative. And we can get a reading here. So put that there, put that one there. And it's reading about 12.6. And don't get me wrong, we just started the car, so that way we might be getting a little bit higher reading than normal, but that still isn't strong enough for starting this car uh, correctly. So what we're gonna do is uh, remove this battery. Most of the time, you want around like 13 to 14 volts to really get a good crank on this, uh, on this car. So let's go ahead and start removing that battery. Now it looks like this car didn't have a uh, bolt for this or it either broke off. It looks like someone stuck like a self-starter in here. So mine's quarter inch. Yours will obviously be something different, probably more like a 10 millimeter, unless uh, yours broke off too and someone replaced it. Okay, Put that off. We should be able to move this out of the way here. Just kind of set it off the side. Don't try to bump it too much because it's on a hook. It might be annoying to put that back through. And then you want to then undo these two sides. This side looks like a 10 millimeter. This side looks like something else. So on the positive side, we're using a 5 16 And then on the negative side, we're using an 11 millimeter. Just kind of loosen up. Don't have to take the bolts all the way out or the nut. Then I'm just going to loosen this and pull up. And then loosen this side. pull up and then you can just grab the strap. Luckily mine has one of these. I'm just gonna pull it out. All right, we have our new battery now. One thing to note when you're buying a battery, you wanna make sure that you get the post on the correct size and the correct, uh, correct side and the correct size for the uh, car application. In this case, mine was on the left side or passenger side for the uh, positive and then for the negative for the driver's side. and set this down in there. Just gonna go ahead and throw this on real quick. Make sure you don't touch that to the positive side. You don't want to spark anything. And then we're gonna put the positive side on. If you have any re uh, battery residue or anything like that, make sure you clean it off. Want a nice clean connection. Also, that can sometimes make you seem like you need a new battery, and you really don't. So, keep an eye on that. There we go. Both connections are now made. Now we can go ahead and tighten these up. And there we go. You'll want to snap the cap back on. Tighten down your support bracket. There 
There we go. And then we are all set. So let's go ahead and give this car a start now. All right, now that's all done, let's go ahead and start this up and hear what a good starting battery sounds like. And there we go. You can tell right there, that's a strong, healthy battery. Uh, it started the way it should, and uh, I think this is all set. So if this video helped you at all, please make sure to leave a uh, like on the video, subscribe to my channel, and check out my other videos. Uh, I think you'll like uh, the other Vibe videos that I have out there on my channel. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.